EU foreign ministers are holding their regular session in Brussels today. Last night, a preparatory gathering was held at which the ministers discussed their expectations of the newly elected US president. In relation to statements Trump made during the presidential campaign about a possible change in American policy towards the EU and NATO. It is expected that today the EU will once again congratulate Donald Trump on his victory and express its willingness for further cooperation with the new US administration. After Finance Minister Zdravko Maric's announcement that the state's anti-corruption agency for tax issues would no longer be responsible to his ministry, but rather work within the tax administration, the government's coalition partner, Most, has responded by saying it will not support such a move. Most have pointed out that in the present configuration, this agency has exposed over a billion kuna of financial fraud in the last two years. Maric argues that his decision will only strengthen the agency's work. Parliament's Finance and Central Budget Committee is holding a session today to discuss the government's proposed tax reform package. They will examine the proposed law and amendments and additions to the laws on value-added tax and profit tax, as well as to the law on contributions. They will also consider proposed laws on income tax, real estate, local levies, excise duties and a special tax on motor vehicles. The Zagreb County Court today should decide when the trial of Nadan Vidošević should begin. The former president of the Croatian Chamber of Commerce is charged with siphoning off at least 39 million kuna from that institution. The migrants that set off on foot from the Serbian capital Belgrade have arrived in the border town of Šid. They have already tried to enter Croatia at Tovarnik, but were prevented from doing so by the Serbian police. The migrants, who are mostly from Afghanistan and Africa, are saying that they are heading for Italy and France and not for Germany, and that they will wait on the Croatian border until they are allowed to pass. Croatian Interior Minister Vlaho Orepic said yesterday that the security on the border was stable and that there was no indication that the situation could escalate. At exactly 2.52 p.m., the distance between the Earth and the Moon will be the smallest in the last 68 years, a little under 400,000 kilometers. The Moon will look 30% bigger and be 14% brighter. This event will next repeat itself in 18 years' time. Sport and in basketball, Tsibona were defeated in the ninth round of the ABA League by leaders Red Star last night. The score was 91-70. Meanwhile, Zadar defeated Mornar away from home for a score of 110-104. And in the sixth round of the Croatian Basketball Championship, Šibenik beat Gorica away from home 99-81. In football, the Croatian national team, after its victory against Iceland on Saturday, travelled to Belfast on Sunday, where it will play a friendly against Northern Ireland on Tuesday. Coach Ante Čačić has said that he will be giving his big-name players a rest and call on other members of the squad. In tennis, the end-of-season ATP Masters tournament has begun. Serbian Novak Djokovic won his first game against Austrian Dominic Thiem, while Canadian Miloš Raonic defeated the Frenchman Gael Monfi. This evening, Croatian Marin Cilic faces current world number one, Andy Murray of Scotland. This afternoon's forecast calls for at least partly sunny weather. There'll be more cloud in mountainous areas where there could be a little snowfall tonight. There'll be a moderate and in places strong northeasterly Bura wind with gale force gusts in the Velibit Channel. Highest daily temperatures will be between 1 and 5 degrees Celsius, up to 9 degrees in the Istrian and Dalmatian interiors, and between 8 and 15 degrees on the coast. It'll be relatively stable and cold until Wednesday. There'll be lingering fog and low-lying cloud on Thursday. Light snow is possible during the night and on Tuesday morning, mainly in Gorski Kotar. On the coast, there'll be more sunshine. On Tuesday, the Bura wind will weaken, and on Thursday, a southeasterly Yugo and southwesterly wind will bring warmer air and a new cloud front, which will probably mean rain, especially in the Rijeka region.